You're a small business owner and you found a great article you want to share on Twitter. So the first thing you do is you copy paste that article's URL. Go to Twitter, log in, copy the link, write a little description, and press send. That took about 15 seconds. If you want to share articles throughout the day, that adds up to a lot of time. So let's go ahead and automate this process using Zapier and Buffer. So this is what it's going to look like. I find this great article on training dogs. I write the tweet, press send using Zapier push, and it's in my Twitter feed. Find another great article about the cutest cats, write that tweet, press send, and it's scheduled in my Twitter feed using Buffer. So in Buffer, we see that both of our tweets are scheduled at different times. That means you can batch your work and schedule all of your tweets in one go. So I'm here in Zapier. As a reminder of what Zapier does, it takes information from one place and sends it somewhere else. In our case, we're going to send information from Zapier Push, which is a Chrome extension, to Buffer, which will schedule our tweets. Let's go ahead and create our Zap. Our trigger is going to be Zapier Push, and that will allow us to capture the URL of the article we're trying to share and write out the tweet description without needing to go to Twitter. So here we need to specify what fields we'd like to add to our Zapier push, knowing that by default, Zapier push will record the URL of the page we're currently looking at. So really, the only thing we need is the text of the tweet, which I'm calling description. So now when I click on the push Chrome extension, there's a field where I can enter the text of the tweet. Now that I have it configured, let's look at a few samples to make sure everything is working fine. So here we have the example of the first article I saved about the cats. So I have the URL and I have the description and now I'm ready to send that to Buffer. So from there, it's relatively simple. We just send our data to Buffer. We want it to add to the end of the queue. We connect our Buffer account, which I've already done. And then in the text, we specify the description. So that's the first part of our tweet. And then we add the URL this is all from step one. Then we click continue and we've created our automation. So we can now turn it on and start sharing articles to our heart's content. We're going to refine this automation next week on automate all the things by adding a validation step. I'll see you there.